Good morning, stampers and crafters. Welcome to Tina's Crafty Ink Spot. I'm Tina. Thank you for joining me today. I have a fun technique for you today that you're going to be able to use any of your dies or any of your punches to create a fun embossed background, dry emboss. So, I have a couple of card samples, but I noticed when I started filming, it's kind of hard to see the embossing I did back here. I used my leaf punch. I don't know. There it is. Tropical leaf punch. Here is to show you a little more how it really looks. Okay. You got your emboss side or your deboss side. Whichever you want to use. And we are going to... I'm also going to show you how you can take that same technique and make these really cool kind of inlaid images into your card using your embossing or or your oh I'm at a loss for words this morning your punches or your die cuts so let's jump right in I'm gonna do this leaf background first and show you how I created I'm trying to get the camera to get a right angle on there you know, I mean, haven't you ever, if you're like me, if you're like me, you have a ton of embossing folders. I do. I have a lot of dry embossing folders. But sometimes when I'm doing a project, I can't find the embossing folder I really want for a background. So now you're going to be able to create whatever background you want and emboss it. So let's just... We'll, since we got the leaf out here, we'll use this one to uh, create our first embossed background. So what I do is I pick a thick paper, either your thick watercolor or your thick cardstock, or I find this watercolor paper seems to last longer. I mean, once you make your... Uh, images for embossing you can use them over and over again okay so what I'll do is I'll just cut out two of these leaves maybe ooh, with my um, punch and then we're gonna take and we're just gonna glue those together and that's going to give us our 3d for embossing. Oh, got my, my. I moved all my cameras and stuff over to my actual craft desk, and sometimes my light falls down. It's kind of weird. I have one of those uh, hot lights, and I just love it. I mean, my craft room is very bright, very lit, because it seems as I get older, I need a little more light. Okay, so we're just going to glue these together. Just take your favorite glue and kind of line them up. And then you end up with a nice thick piece. Now the thicker it is, the more 3D it's going to be when you emboss it. <laughs> so what I did is I did several of those already behind camera. Boy, this white is not wanting to focus today. So I did several of them. So here's three of those and then I took let me find it in the new Rhino Ready that's in the online exclusives there's a couple of little tropical leaf dies okay so what I did is I took those two tropical leaves and I die cut or I yeah I die cut them twice out of watercolor paper and I created so I did it a couple times. So there's a layer of two. So there's two big ones and two small ones. Oh, this light on my desk is really going to wreak havoc with me today. So now you're going to take your embossing platform. Now you can emboss on any color of paper you want. And you want to use, now I'm using my Big Shot, and I have my regular platform. I have one cutting plate, and I also have this rubber mat. It's a rubber embossing mat. 
Okay, and we're gonna set that there. We're gonna pick our cardstock that we want, and I'm going to use just regular thick basic white. Okay. I'm gonna set that there, and then I'm gonna arrange my leaves the way I want them to be embossed onto my piece of white cardstock or colored cardstock, whatever you prefer. And let's take a couple of these little ones, lay those in there. And I kind of like to just do them all different angles. And maybe one more big one. Let's put it right here. Voila, that is it. I've just laid some die cut it. Or, boy, that camera is not wanting to focus on this white. And laid it onto my white cardstock, my rubber mat, my rubber embossing mat, one die cut plate, and a platform. Now, this is. This sandwich is going to depend on what machine you're using. Okay. So now I'll just take my top plate. And see using that rubber mat keeps. Even with your die cuts you can use just your dies themselves on here. And it'll emboss without cutting through because of that rubber mat. So let's run that through our machine and see how it came out. Okay. <clears throat> now my kind of stuck to my plate here a little, and then you just peel them up off of your cardstock. Oops. A little debris there, and you have your embossed image. See that? So you got your debossed side. Or your emboss side okay and all I did was I took a greeting added it on that boy I really wish that would focus better on white I apologize and just added a greeting a couple of those same little leaves that were in the ready rhino cut them out of this paper right here is uh, texture chic it's a DSP, it's got some golds in it and some nice greens. And that way my embossed image still shows added a couple embellishments. This one I just added my Ready Rhino. A little greeting embossed in black. I added one leaf just to kind of accent it. But look at that cool embossing on there. Isn't that neat? I'll have better pictures of this on the blog post. Uh, obviously, all the lights that I have on my camp on my desk here is kind of making it hard to see the embossing. So there you go. Now, like I promised, I'm going to show you how to also use these to create inlaid images. So, you have your same your same sandwich here. We're going to lay a piece of thick cardstock. Now, I have these images here that I punched out well now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna punch it out one more time but with vellum okay this is vellum cardstock so we're gonna cut it out and then we're gonna add our vellum cardstock make sure I got that sit in the right direction we're gonna add our vellum cardstock on that Let's put it on here. You don't need much glue. You don't want it really oozing out. You know what I mean? Make sure I got it on there, right? So I'm just going to line it up and attach my vellum on there. So now you have... You have two... Punch... Two thick cardstock punches or watercolor paper punches. And then you also have a vellum punch. Okay. So now I want to do an inlaid image 
onto my project. I have another vellum leaf here somewhere, I think. Let's create one more. I'm going to add some vellum to one more of these. Even with the vellum on there, you can still use them for the plain embossing we just did. But I'm going to show you what this vellum's going to do. It's fun. You're really going to like it. It goes like that. A little bit of glue. Okay, so we have two punched. I didn't get that on there quite straight. Let me adjust it. There we go. So we have our two punched leaves, double punched leaves, and some vellum. Okay. Now, we are going to, I'm going to bring in a rubber mat. And with the vellum side up, we're going to take some ink. Let's try... Mmm. How about a little shaded spruce? Oh no, maybe s soft succulent. Let's do that. I think that'll be really pretty. And now you can do anything as far as inking. You can sponge some ink on here, or you can do like I'm going to do here, and I'm just going to ink them up. And the vellum will hold that ink and keep it wet. You know, it might be easier if you used, like, your stamping spots or something like that. Or turn your ink pad up this way and then just push your leaf into it. Okay, so you got a nice inked up vellum on there. See that? See that there? And then we're going to gently lay it on our cardstock try not to move it around let it sit there and then we're going to take our other vellum piece we're going to ink that up oh that's nice it's going to be pretty and we're going to lay it on our cardstock try not to move it too much so we're laid down on there You can do these techniques. This right here is kind of like doing the uh, faux letterpress technique. So we got those two leaves. We've got our cut plate, our embossing, rubber embossing mat, and then another one of our cut plates. I'm going to try to be careful not to move those. I'm going to run them through our machine. Let's see how it turned out, huh? Look at that. You have these in beautiful inlaid leaves. And you can use these, these punch cuts or die cuts over and over. But look at these cool inlaid leaves. Now the leaves I did here, see how they're different colors? You know what I did when I was inking? I used the baby wipe technique. So I did up my baby wipe, pushed my my vellum into it, and got the multiple colors. Okay, these what we can do is just take. So you you know get as crazy as you want with it. So now we'll just take the leaf uh, line image here. Grab a block. I sure like being at my workspace because everything's kind of right here. I'm going to take maybe maybe some shaded spruce here. Ink it up. Let's lock, line it up on our leaves. Leaf.
Look at that. How fun is that? Now you have these two very cool inlaid leaves. Here's the back side with it. Let's see if I can get that to show up. See the deboss there? You can even, if you did this on colored cardstock, use this side and do your leaf, out, you know, lines on that side. So you can use either side of it and then decorate it up. Um, this one here, I did my leaf emboss on the back. See there? And then I did baby wipe technique for my leaf to get a lot of color in there. But I kept this kind of minimal so you can see the awesome leaves embossed on the back. So let's do, I'm going to show you one more because I have an idea that popped into my head this morning and I thought, well, if I'm going to do the video, I think I'm going to share it with you. Here's our artistically inked bundle. Okay. Look at this cold leaf. We are going to cut a couple of these, or even the flowers would look cool. You turn them into embossing and do that flower in your background emboss. So I'm going to take this leaf and I want. Where's my watercolor paper here? So now I'm going to bring in my cutting plate. So we got our cutting plate. I mean our plat magnetic platform. One cutting plate. Our watercolor paper. Let's see if we can get two out of this one here. And then our top plate. We're going to cut two of these out and see how it turns out to be embossed. You know, because it's got a little more detail than the flat leaf we just did. So let's see if the detail dies will also emboss. Wow. And here's our first leaf. I'll fast forward through this for you. So now what I've done is I die cut the, the leaves twice in watercolor and once in vellum and I adhered them together, the vellum on top. Now you can put your vellum on the other side and you'll end up, if you do one on one side and one on the other, you can do leaves that face these face each other. Does that make sense? So if you die cut this and you put the vellum on this side, die cut it twice again, flip it over, put the vellum on that side, you can end up with a reverse image. Pretty cool, huh? So let's put this away and you are doing this one with me the first time. I'm hoping it turns out. I have a uh, an idea in my head and we're going to see if it turns out so now I need to flip this to my vellum side I have a few of my little stamping spots here I have daffodil uh, shaded spruce and some flirty flamingo so I'm going to take my lightest color first and I'm going to dab some onto our vellum Let's take our next color, next lightest color, which is Flirty Flamingo, and we're going to put some of that on there. And you can kind of use, you know, the corner of your uh, stamping spot to get the ink on there. So we got some Flirty Flamingo on there. Now, let's add some Shaded Spruce. Oh, I don't even have this one open. I love my Stampin' Spots. I saved them from my paper pumpkin kits. And, um, you know, you, 
you pretty much get a different color every month from Paper Pumpkin. So I have a whole box of my little stampin' spots. And I can travel with them and anything instead of, you know, carrying your full um, ink pads. So these little stampin' spots come in pretty handy. Plus, you know, doing fun little techniques like these. Now, even with me jibber-jabbering, the vellum will hold the ink. So we're, we're okay. You know, it'll kind of... It doesn't absorb in like paper. So we're going to add some of this shaded spruce on here. And of course, you're probably going to end up with a few different colors because the ink will blend. What do you think? That looks pretty interesting, right? All right. Well, now we're going to take our embossing platform set up. And I'm going to pick this up with my tweezers. We're going to add a piece of thick cardstock. We're going to turn this over and we're going to try not to move it around too much. Set it down. And then add our top plate. And let's run it through our machine and see what we came up with. Alright, the big reveal. The big reveal, let's see. Try not to move the leaf around too much in case it still has ink. Oh my gosh. How pretty is that? Look at all those multiple colors. And it's inlaid. Just see, here's your back. Look for doing that. Look at the detail in that. If you just did it as an embossed image. Which you can turn around and do, you know, um, with that same one. Maybe, you know, wipe off the ink off the vellum. But look at the detail that dye left in there. But I really like the inlay. Look at the detail in that. Then you just maybe take, maybe take a simple greeting, add it on there and attach it to your card base. And voila, look at that. How fun is that for a quick, unique, it's inlaid, it's got, you know, color in it. You could do a solid color. You can do the baby wipe technique like um, you've done before. If not, I can link the baby wipe technique to this blog post on my YouTube. I show you different ways to do the baby wipe technique. You can do anything on these that you can do with the stamp. But now, your dies and punches go a whole lot further in creating fun stuff. I hope you enjoyed today's technique. I will put samples of the cards and hopefully better pictures so you can see the embossing. I apologize for the lighting. It's apparently something I'm going to have to work on. Well, now that I've moved over here to my craft desk, I will work on that. So I apologize. But I hope you have a very happy Stampin' Day. Be sure to share your projects with me if you try one of my techniques. I'd absolutely love it. Share it on my Pinterest. Share it on my Facebook, Tina's Crafty Ink Spot. Love to stamp with you. Thank you and have a very, very happy Stampin' Day. Stay safe out there.